Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're meeting me for the first time, and today we just, uh, let me take this off. Doing a second test for the Yolo Life Pro, which we can view from top down here. Um, last, uh, last time I had issues with one of the cameras um a security cam which was uh, very good um but when i noticed that whenever i introduced the whenever i introduced the the camera it will bring in some artifacts like you know glitch and then the whole picture will crumble down and even when i switch it off it tends to take a while to get off the screen so um the longer you leave it on that screen, the more deadly it becomes. So we're about to run it again and see if my theory was right, if the issue was from that camera as I did suspect. So we're switching. Um, let me introduce the setup again. Um, once again, the top down, it's this um, camera. It's this one here, one here, oh, yeah, yep, one here. Uh, it's the it's a tiny 4K. Um, it's security camera as well, but I haven't had problems with it. Um, it's a zoom. It's a zoom lens. It has a zoom lens attached, and it's got the um, it's got the tiny controls both for focus and um, exposure which is very good okay so i can ad adjust let me i can adjust my exposure like this i can adjust and focus which i don't want to play with right now so i um, think we i think we're still good not too bright let me turn it down a bit okay all right, so let's come back. Um, so uh, I just wanted to play around and see that we don't have any artifact. This is the um, 12K Pro, and I'm looking at this uh, camera, which I uh, this uh, tripod, which I'll talk about in a, in a second by my experience. And um, so that's the setup. I'm taking audio from HDMI 1. You can see that on the screen here. If I do put this to full, no, you won't see that now. But this, you set it up to HDMI 1 and then every time I switch, the audio will still stay there. Now, I have uh, options of switching. Uh, I have some more things to switch with. You can switch with uh, your 1080p Canon 60D which um, I'm going to set up for something else. I'm going to do, a, actually, I'm going to make an actual, you know, ridiculous setup with a lot of cameras. And I have other little 4K cameras here, which are <laughs> autofocus as well and very good quality. Um, tiny, tiny cameras like this that will just, uh, um, you know, if uh, uh, the point is if I can set up all these cameras without the main cameras, and have a good experience then that will be the case so i don't have to i just come here i know my toys <laughs> my toy cameras are all set up and all these guys you know are free to jump in and out um you know uh out of um for look to location or shots or stuff like that that's the point but i'm loving the size and the ease of putting all these things up here and all that uh, also, GoPro is a good choice to add to the combination. Um, I can set that up. I, yet, I have yet another uh, <laughs> another mini um, um, lens. That's, this is similar to the one that's up there, but that's a little bit better in my opinion. Um, but this is SDI. You need to connect SDI um, and um, you know convert it somehow to HDMI before you can get on on this system so this is a little bit um, the only way I've been able to view this is uh, through the Atomos Ninja um, 5 and see the picture so I can somehow transfer if I wish to but it, 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 it can work now today is uh, hopefully this test is going on well and um, 
there will be no hitches. So on that note, I want to just uh, talk about this uh, tripod, which uh, we now have to switch to the Ursa 4, um, the Ursa 12K uh, view. Okay, now this this tripod is from Fan Mall, Fan Fan Mall, Fan Mall, and um, I made a very quick re short review on the channel, and um, of course some people bought it. Uh, so I, I thought that uh, now that it broke on me, I should be able to like, uh, you know, clarify issues, you know, and let everybody know what the experience was. Just in case it was, uh, it's no big deal. I don't want to uh, run down the name of the company, but uh, I'll tell you my experience all the same because uh, I don't want to make people buy it and and not um uh and then have a bad experience with it so i've had it for a year now actually almost exactly a year and um it's been i love it i have the manfrotto um tripod uh, i think well i don't know the exact model but um a more superior more expensive one than this but i found out that my experience with this one was very good I was loving the ease, you know, of use and all that, and I decided to just stick with this. So, for a long time, more than ever, everything else, I was using this for all jobs. I was just taking this along. It was, um, I like the the uh, way it. Uh, it was just easier to to work with, like, you know, this stuff. When I, if I on on on, um, if I. Uh, free up this nut, the tripod falls down on its own, you know, and then I just keep it in place. It's just, you know, really easy to use. And um, the balance um, ball, whatever, this stuff here, it's um, quite more visible than my, my frozen one. So the experience with this one as well was a lot better. However, when I did an interview, I talked about it on a, on a, on an edition where um, I talked about how I use the the easy my easy rig, rig knockoff. <laughs> okay, I use my easy rig knockoff. I had to when this thing broke on me, I had to use that, and um, and that was um, it was a terrible experience, you know. Even though I made it, but I also discovered something I could have done to just uh, which would have been probably better than. Uh, uh, the easy rig that I use now the easy rig it wasn't bad for for motion picture it would have been better but for an interview it was a little bit you know it's it's okay it's not horrible but you know there was no point for for the camera to be you know a little bit floaty you know I just um, so I really got pissed off and, you know, just said <laughs> this, I'm not using this stuff again. Even if I can, can fix it one way or the other, unless you guys tell me in the description uh, or in the comments, if there's uh, maybe it happens to all tripods uh, and uh, stuff like that, but I'm going to explain what exactly. So let's take a look what happened. Okay. Now here we are. Let me give you a 360. Let me unscrew. Okay, so we can rotate. Now, you see this, um, the knob here. Let's turn a little bit more. Okay, that's the company name. Now, this, this is what broke on me. It became free. Oh, it's coming out. Well, let's see, maybe. I didn't even know I could take it off like this. Okay, so this, it became loose, and I, let me see if I can, no, it's not going, in. so it gets to the end, and it gets, uh, you know, it goes in a circle, usually it should stop, and and then I'll have this stuff, uh, it's resting on this table, so it won't show what the problem is now. So now that I can tighten this stuff, as soon as I put the camera on it, it goes, it goes like that, <laughs> you know? I put the camera on it and it goes like that. So the fear when it happened, I was just so scared. It was like, you know, 
the 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 6K Pro was what I was using then. I was just so scared that it would break on me and just fall off the uh, stand. So I took it off. But on the second thought, I think uh, it would have still been more stable to just have it on this camera, on this tripod, and um, and hold it, you know, by hand like this, you know, so that it doesn't tilt over. Okay, so somebody actually asked me, you know, what what happened really? So it's a good question, and you know, you might want to, um, and, you know, there are two things I thought about when I saw his the question is uh, maybe he wants to know, so he will, you know, not have to go through that kind of experience on set. Um, and then second is maybe he wants to help me out and say what uh, how can the tripod go bad like that what yeah, there must be a way you could have done or fixed it or gone around it well let me know in the description guys if there's a way you would have gone uh, ahead to fix this stuff if there's a way to fix it that would be nice but i know i'm not uh, <laughs> I'm not uh, going to depend on this as well. Now, on that day, I had two tripods, um, but funny enough, I was shooting two cameras. So I had the Cisco K Pro and the BGH1 on set and during the interview, and uh, they were both on. And funny enough, I love this guy so much, I bought another one of the, <laughs> but this time a mono, a, a monopod. Okay. Uh, from the same company and this one is from the same company Famo, but it's called um, nicknamed Coman so it's a uh, Coman is in is a is the name of the Famo uh, um, Famo product it was very good this was um, I wanted to stay light so I put the BGH one which was of course light on this guy and everything went supernova there was no problems at all if you look at this one if you look at this camera, you know, as soon as I put it, you know, gradually, gradually, it's, it's going to be going down and down and down. That's because it's light, you know, so there's no restriction, no tension, no resistance. It's just going to keep going down. But if you put the other camera, as soon as you put it on it, it's like this, you know, and then the tripod will wave. I didn't want that. I didn't want to risk that. So because of the fear i probably did not just think that i could just leave it and support it and that would have been a more steady shot in my opinion but i think sometime i probably let you guys see the clip that i actually shot with it and you know maybe you could tell me how bad it was um no complaints came from the client but you know it wasn't the best in in my own opinion i knew uh i messed up so uh, you guys let me know when i show you the clips later on um hopefully you guys will say your opinion about that but that's it i i got for you today um the the experience of, with this guy is good uh, but i don't want to rather than say they messed me up or the the, the stuff is good uh, i know i've overused it it's pretty much what i've been using because it was really convenient to use <sighs> it was good until it lasted a uh, while it lasted well for this guy still good still rocking i still love the point where i can see this stuff uh, a lot more clearer uh, than the manfrotto one this thing extends really high you know it's got this uh, layers here and um, let me see if i can okay okay we don't have a good uh, view here okay so let's go back all right so um it's good it can extend and uh, my experience with this one so far has been lovely as well i would still recommend this one but just know that i i had one experience with with the uh, uh, main tripod all right so that's what i came to do today and to test up um um, this is um, the experience with the yellow box pro life okay so i wanted to know if i'll have g trees and problems and all that so thank you guys for watching i guess i'll see you guys in the oh don't forget to like subscribe i appreciate it. and then i'll see you in the next one this